We will now perform our test for lead ion. We're first going to add three milliliters of deionized water to our test tube with residue R1. And we will heat our mixture to near boiling in a hot water bath while stirring. After heating our mixture to near boiling, we need to remove the test tube from the hot water bath and centrifuge our mixture. After centrifugation has completed, we'll remove our test tube and decant the solution, which will designate as S2, into a new test tube labeled S2. To our test tube S2, we will add several drops of one molar potassium chromate. The formation of a yellow precipitate will confirm the presence of lead ion. This is a confirmation of the presence of lead ion. 